Well, Ricky's here. Uh, what a life, what a, what a career it's given you, this game. Yeah, it certainly has. It's been an amazing journey over a long period of time, I guess. Um, probably not the, uh, the way I wanted to finish with that result and, and my own performance, but... Um, yeah, look, a special bunch of blokes and uh, yeah, it's a special thing to play one test match for Australia, so I've been lucky to play as many as I have and cherished every moment, but it um, was always going to end at some stage, I guess. Graham Smith's team, Diddy proud with their uh, welcome to you today? Yeah, it was uh, a bit unexpected. I must admit, I was a little bit sort of embarrassed and wish it didn't happen that way, but um, yeah, an amazing gesture by, uh, by Graham and the South African team. Um, as I said, I didn't think it happened that way, but, uh, you know, I thanked him very much on the way on and... So I'll make sure I'm a boy in the beer tonight after the game. He said a lot of nice things about you these last uh, few days, saying you're the most competitive man he ever played against and just about the best. Yeah, well, I've uh, tried to stay away from watching and listening to most of the stuff that's unfolded this week, obviously with a, a game still to play, and, um, you know, I didn't want to get too carried away in, in the finality of it all. I just wanted to try and contribute to the team and, and, uh, and perform well, but as I said, that hasn't unfolded the way I would have liked, but it's, uh, yeah, it's been an amazing week and an amazing 20 years of first-class cricket. We have to put aside the last few weeks, really, and focus on 17 years. I mean, if you were picking moments that have given you the most pleasure in that time, what would they be? Oh, look, there are so many, I guess, through 168 tests. Um, you know, your debuts are always special. Um, Ashes series are always special. I think any time we've played against South Africa in my time has been a, a special series. You know, we've been lucky to play in winning World Cups, and you know, I think I played in three straight winning World Cup teams, and I uh, was a captain of a couple of those sides. But, um, yeah, look, I'll... I haven't really had a chance to reflect much yet. Uh, I've been sort of, sort of too wrapped up in the moment of this test match, but uh, I'm sure over a few beers tonight with the boys, a lot of those things will start coming back. Would lifting a World Cup or lifting the Ashes urn rate higher? Uh, that's a good question. As it turned out, I probably lifted more World Cups than I did Ashes urns through my captaincy career. But, um, yeah, look, they're, they're, those sort of moments are as special as they get. And, you know, that's on on the boys' doorstep over the next few months. Um, you know, it would have been nice to be around for that, but I'm obviously not going to be, and I wish the boys all the best in the, the coming Ashes series. And what about special innings, Ricky, moments where you think you played as good as you can play when it mattered? Um, well, I, I, I think my match, or test match saving innings, if you like, at Manchester in, what was that, 03, 04, 05, actually it was, 05, um, as probably as well as I've played in a big moment. Um, I got out with a couple of overs to go and thought the test match was over, but... I guess then the start of the next series, um, 196, 198 at the Gabba, the start of the, uh, the return series back in Australia when we had our backs to the wall and needed to win the series. I think, you know, just to, to set the tone and get the series off to that sort of start was pretty satisfying. And I guess you look at the, you know, 100 I got in the World Cup final, I guess, um, you know, as I said with Channel 9 the other day, um, I've always prided myself on, my, myself on how I play in big games and um, I managed to, to do that well up until the last couple of years and haven't been able to do it uh, for a while. So... That was sort of where the writing on, was on the wall for me. You took over a, a great side with great players in it, and, and then you recently had to captain a younger side with slightly less good players in it, but you seemed to relax and enjoy that experience too. Yeah, well, probably my finest moment as captaincy, I felt, or proudest moment anyway, was taking a young group to South Africa a few years ago and, and winning the series over there. We won the series 2-1, and that was just on the back of, um, of us losing a series to South Africa and Australia, and we had you know, lots of guys making their de debuts. Phil Hughes was there, Van Hilfenhaus, Peter Siddle, Marcus North, um, Andrew McDonald, all those guys were in that one side, and we won the first two test matches there, and I remember walking off the ground purposely in front of the group to look back and just see the joy that they were, that was on their faces. So that was a pretty special moment as well. Um, obviously, we've got some younger guys around the, the group now that you know, Michael and Mickey are looking after exceptionally well, and as I said, I wish them all the best. Michael, we can invite you in here, if you don't mind, for a word on your former captain. Anyway, you can do what you want. Do you want to go and see the family? I wouldn't mind doing that, yeah. All right, Ricky's going to go and see the family. Ricky Ponning, ladies and gentlemen. Look at that. That's a great scene, isn't it? Michael, quite a difficult day for you in, in many ways. You're saying goodbye to a, a friend and a special cricketer. Yeah, I think a tough five days for the players, to be honest. It's, um, yeah, I guess this test match didn't go the way we wanted it to go, but, um, you know, we tried our best. We fought as hard as we could throughout this series and unfortunately got beaten by the better team. Um, and, you know, what, uh, what a sad day for Australian cricket to lose such a great player.
Those are lovely pictures, aren't they? It's good to see him so happy uh, and his family happy, that's for sure. But, you know, he deserves all the credit he's, he's certainly getting um, for an unbelievable career. What a player. He's no doubt he's, he's one of the greatest players I've ever had been lucky enough to play with. Um, and I think people that, are, that have, have been fortunate enough to play against him say exactly the same thing. So, you know, the team wishes him all the best for the future. Um, I've said before that I hope Cricket Australia do whatever they can in their power to keep him involved in this great game because he's, he's one of a kind and I think the game needs him. Great. Well, you've got to move forward now. You've got to somehow put this behind you pretty quick because the Sri Lankans are about to arrive. Yeah, we do. Um, we've got a few days before then, though. I think, you know, the rest of today and tomorrow is going to be about Ricky. Um, and obviously we can talk about what's happened throughout this series. I think there's plenty of positives that have come from this series. We, we um, you know, we fought it out with the number one test team in the world and it was never going to be easy. You know, this series was never going to be given to, to either side. And I'm really proud of the way the boys did everything in their power to, to hang on for as long as we could. It's just unfortunate that, um, that we couldn't get over the line in the first two test matches. And I think in this test we got outplayed. Do you think that backing up after Adelaide and not winning was a problem? I don't think it's a problem. I think it certainly took it, it, took it out of us um, mentally, physically. I think all the boys did absolutely everything in our power to try and win that test match. And that's why I say, you know, South Africa deserve a lot of credit because they hung on in that test match um, and then come out here and outplayed us for the last four days. Can you recover yourself? Because I think you're pretty jaded, aren't you? I'll be fine. Uh, I think all the guys are a little bit fatigued, that's for sure. But, you know, come eight days' time, the first test against Sri Lanka will be 100% fit, firing and ready to go for a new series. And a, a bright future, some good young cricketers around. Yeah, I think we've seen that throughout this series that, um, you know, up against the number one team in the world, guys have performed well individually. I thought we fought really hard and the rain might have cost us in, in Brisbane and then we couldn't get over the line in Adelaide. But, like I say, I think the guys need to hold their heads high. I'd be very proud of the way we, um, we had a red-hot crack throughout this series and, and accept that, you know, right now, especially in this test match, we'll get outplayed by a better team. And lastly, really, the, the South Africans, how do they rank? I mean, they're a good side, aren't they? Well, they're the number one team in the world. Um, and they showed that, I think, throughout this series, to be able to fight as hard as they did in the second test and not give us that victory. And then to come out and perform the way they did in this third test shows why they're the number one team in the world. Um, you know, to be number one, you've got to perform home and away. You've got to be consistent with your cricket and you've got to find ways to, you know, when you get momentum, to grab hold of it with both hands and run with it. And unfortunately, they did that very well. All right, mate. We wish you good luck in Hobart and for the rest of the summer. Thanks for your time. Thanks, Mark. All right. Right. The news here is that Ricky Ponting has finished with Test Match Cricket. Australia did go down in this Test Match, but we won't be long before we're in Hobart and a new era begins, an era without Ricky. The Blundstone Arena, December the 14th, the first of three Test Matches. We go on to the Boxing Day Test and then New Year in Sydney. Great scenes here. Even though Australia have gone down, Ricky Ponting will always hold his head very high.
This has been another presentation from Nine's Wide World of Sports.